Wait, so all of these years of martial arts training and all I had to do was be an accountant? Bar side movie reviews. All right, so let's talk about who's starring in this bad boy. We've got Ben Affleck, we've got Anna Kendrick, we've got J.K. Simmons, and we've got John Brenthrall. And this film is directed by Gavin O'Connor the accountant let's get into it all right guys so let's get into this movie here's a brief synopsis no spoilers of course so ben affleck is a guy with very very high functioning autism with a crazy high propensity for dealing with numbers like he's that guy that you would ask like uh what's the square root of 452 uh, divided by five and uh with the coefficient of pi. Yeah, I don't really know what I'm talking about, but you get the point. So he has a very, very high acumen for dealing with numbers. And when he gets older, he actually ends up uncooking the books for probably some of the worst criminal elements on the planet. All right, you guys, so one of the best things about this film was how well this thing was written. You know what, the first thing I thought was actually, I'll bet you this is a book to film adaptation. I'll bet. But no, it's not. It was actually written directly for the theater, which I think is cool. Now, don't get me wrong. We all love to see like our favorite books made into movies. The adaptation of the book to film is really cool. We get to see all that on the big screen. But I love the fact that we do actually have an original script. Thank you, Hollywood that actually was written for the theater. And this is a great story. One of the best things actually about how the story is told is that it's not told in a very linear fashion. They use a bunch of flashbacks and things like that to fill in a lot of the backstory, but it's done so well. It's done like right at the perfect time where it makes sense. It's not one of those things where we see flashbacks that happen and we're just like, oh, what the, we don't even know what's going on. They just threw a flashback in there and we don't even understand why they did it. This one, every flashback makes sense and it helps to tell the story in a very, very interesting and compelling way. And it helps actually for the story to pace pretty well for me. Now, let me make a comment about that because some folks have said that the pacing in this film is pretty slow, but I beg to differ. Now, is this a film where you're gonna see guys jumping out of windows, doing barrel rolls with AK-47, shooting up the street 24 seven all throughout the film? No, it's not. This this is one that makes you think. This is one that makes you pay attention. So no playing on your cell phones or talking to your significant other while this one's going on, boys and girls. I need your eyes open, ears open, brain on, and focusing because there's a lot of stuff to see in this movie. The story in this movie was fabulous. Love the way it was told. Very interesting. Very compelling. It was just great to see this type of writing for a motion picture. All right, Farsiders, so let's get into the performances in this film. So here's the thing about a movie like this. Because of the way that the accountant is written, it is very, very character driven. So the acting in this film has to be very good in order for this movie to come across well. And it is. Affleck does a really good job of portraying someone with high functioning autism. He is consistent with his portrayal across the film. And it's really believable that this is an adult that is dealing with the disorder. I like J.K. Simmons in this film as well. He kind of plays a detective who is on his last go around, but his character is pretty interesting because there are some interesting things that happen to him in this film to kind of shape where he is at the present time. Now he's paired with an actress that I'm going to mention by name because she's not slated as starring in this film, but she really does put in a performance that helps this movie to do very well. And her name is Cynthia Adai Robinson, and she's also a detective working with J.K. Simmons in this film. Now, Anna Kendricks does a great job as well. She is an accountant that is working with Ben Affleck as well. And guys, I'm being vague here on purpose because I don't want to spoil anything for you in this movie. But by far, my favorite character or performance in this film was from John Bernthal. That's right, John Ber Bernthal that played uh, Punisher in the Daredevil series is in this film, and he is awesome in this film. He is a, a not-so-nice guy, I guess is the best way to put it without giving you a spoiler, but he's really good in this film, and if you liked him as the Punisher, you are going to love him in this movie. I think that this is probably one of his breakout roles. Like he was, he was very, very good in this film. All right, so let's talk about the cinematography in this film, one of my favorite subjects. One of the things I really like about this film, you guys, honestly, is that the cinematography in this film is pretty simple. It really does just tell the story of what's happening, which is good. It's what you need for a script that's very character-driven. You don't need a whole bunch of over-
over the top camera work to make the movie work and this film does a good job of not giving us that now don't get me wrong where we have the scenes where there is uh, a lot of action going on it's done very well it's very engaging pulls you in and you really enjoy it and it also does a good job of creating tension in the scenes where we need it also but outside of that it just tells the story of what's going on in the movie and that's a good job of cinematography not getting in the way of the script all right, Farsider, so let's end up with some of the problems that I had with this film, and they actually were not a lot. One of them was the casting of John Lithgow in this film. Like, I'm not really sure why they casted him in that role, and I like John Lithgow. I think he's pretty versatile. I think he can play funny roles, but I think he can play serious or dramatic roles as well. And this character just didn't work for me uh, for him, so I'm not really sure why they cast a Lithgow. I could have thought of 10 other actors they could have cast in his role. Another part that's a little bit problematic for me is that there is a bit of a twist in this movie in that there is a character that we often hear from in the film but we don't know who that character is and they tell us who this character is at the end of the movie and I'm not really sure if I buy it. So. I'd be interested to know what you think when you see it, and you better go see this movie because it's about to get a heck of a rating from me. So, I don't know if I really buy that. From some of the other reviews I've seen, it worked well for them. They thought it was genius, and others were like, eh. I'm more leaning towards, eh. But those are really the only two problems I have with this film. Listen, guys, this is one that you definitely need to see. If you are sitting on the couch right now and you are looking at this review and you are wondering what you and the and the wife, the girlfriend, or whatever is going to do this evening, get up off that couch and go get tickets and see The Accountant. This was a really good movie. I am giving it an A-. minus. Go check it out. Bye-bye. Hey guys, it's Al again, and thank you so much for taking the time out to watch my review of The Accountant. I really think you guys would like this movie, so make sure you go check it out. If you like this review, give it a thumbs up. If you've not already subscribed, subscribe and become a Farsider. Join the community, and I will see you on the next video. Bye-bye.